Hello, I'm Dr. Stacy Lamar. I am the owner of The Source NY in Poughkeepsie, New York. I'm introducing myself today to the YouTube crowd and I am happy to finally have the courage to turn on a video and discuss some things with you that I hope you'll listen to down the road. Uh, this is not a live video, this is taped. This is my first try. And I appreciate anyone that's gonna listen, tuning in and letting me know honestly, but with love and gentleness, uh, what you think today. I am here to discuss with you and share with you the new book that I wrote it's called Starseed. It chronicles some earlier chapters of my life and some roads and obstacles that I had to overcome in order to get to a place of healing and a place of peace. Uh, understand that this is always a work in progress and I'm not always in a peaceful place, but I think that the tools and the lessons that I've learned have helped to make me the person I am today in a good way. And certainly I couldn't have always said that in my past. Uh, we are all facing obstacles. We are all on a different path. Everything about us is unique, just like the snowflakes. And there comes a point where we from time to time in our lives do a self-assessment and that self-assessment can bring up some shadows that we don't like about ourselves and some bright sunshine spots that we do like about ourselves and I think it's the combination of the two that really helps us to become the authentic self that we are. Um, that being said and without droning on I want to give you a little bit of brief history about me um, so that you understand my credentials and, and the doctor title that sometimes people automatically assume is a medical doctor. I am not a medical doctor, full disclaimer. I am a doctor of public health, and that's a doctor that was earned at New York Medical College proudly about uh, six years ago, 2014, I graduated. My work background is I'm a nurse practitioner. I have been a nurse midwife for most of my healthcare care career. Um, about 20 years of my career delivering babies in the Hudson Valley in the New York area. And um, something I'm most proud of and, and truly appreciate. It was an honor to be able to have the trust of so many women in my community and deliver so many babies and, and help so many women grow, develop, and um, start families, continue families, and bring life into the world. I stepped out of that about 2017, took on a new role, new chapter, as I watched my aging grandmother, who was also a nurse, a retired nurse, and had uh, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, and the deterioration of her physical self and her emotional spiritual self really um, brought me to a new appreciation and a new phase in my own life that I felt was um, calling me to step out of midwifery, step out of women's health direct care in the healthcare setting, and open up a new business in the Hudson Valley, um, very much like a, a childcare center, but for seniors, a social adult day service. And it's where seniors that have memory issues and, and Parkinson's and things like that, families can bring them over to us for the day, provide safe care for them, it's not an overnight facility. It's strictly socialization, cognitive challenges, and all the wonderful things that help them to be with their peers and not feel isolated at home. The name of that business is Sadie's Place NY. It is uh, in Poughkeepsie, New York. Very proud of that business. It was my new calling, if you will, as I was on my own spiritual path of change. Um, and I say spiritual path of change. We're all changing, like I said, all the time. We are always developing. We are always growing. Um, but there was a point in my life when I did consciously step out of midwifery and did consciously retreat um, from some trauma, personal trauma that's explained in my book, Starseed, described and discussed uh, in more detail. And it was through the process of my own inner journey um, that I really developed some tools and skills that helped me to evolve, grow, develop, however you want to use the words. But what aligns with me in my spiritual work is, is part of the development of the book, the birthing of my book, and hopefully will become part of the tools in your own toolbox if you choose to follow some of the tools that helped me to grow. 
Um, there's lots of different alternative tools out there, lots of spiritual opportunity, um, whether it's guided meditation, uh, meditation, Reiki, energy healing, color healing, the list goes on and on. But part of my work and development in my own spiritual practice is outlined, and that's something at this point that I'm going to share with you briefly. And if you feel the calling or the desire to reach out to me more directly, then I'm always available by email um, or by phone through the business phone number, which will be listed on the website, thesource-ny.com. And that's where you can learn more about me at a, in your own free time. The Starseed book comes from, and it chronicles my life. And I think it's important for people to understand that we all are born into our family and that soul that comes into the family, in my opinion, and that's my opinion and what aligns with me, is a soul that pre-chooses the family that they're gonna become part of. Now that might not align with a lot of people and that's fine. Um, respectfully, I don't judge people that don't believe it and I would prefer if you don't judge me for believing that. But in my world, what aligns with me is that we are predestined, we make a choice. We make a conscious choice to come into a family. And the family that I came into was a family that was quite, for the, the basic term now would be dysfunctional. And without function, a family that was completely um, broken, and my parents did not have the tools in the tool shed to be uh, nurturing, family, loving, cohesive. So there's a lot of drama and there's a lot of pain and there's a lot of growth and a lot of judgment that came from my childhood. And that's okay. Um, I think the lesson I really want to bring forth if I had the opportunity to at this point is to say that it's very easy for me given the childhood and given the pain and the anguish that I had <clears throat> as a young child to become an adult that prefer, would prefer to be a victim. But that's something that I don't think um, that wouldn't work for me. So if I can help other people that are struggling with victimization, feeling victimized, knowing that I was victimized, I'm not saying I was never victimized, but I'm saying that you have to at some point, if, it, if you're trying to work on your higher self and your authentic self, walk away from any victim stereotype and anything that the victim shadow that you're carrying and, and um, own it, process it, and take the lessons from that victimhood so that you can move forward and grow and develop and become a more um, balanced human being. The term starseed for the book is very much how I self-identify. And self-identification is, is huge in the planet right now, right? We have people that are lesbian, gay, um, transgender, however you want to self-identify. And it's actually recently been owned by the Supreme Court that we have the right to self-identify. And we don't have to just self-identify as man and woman, male, female. There are variations too. So starseed for me is in the simplest terms, a person that has come down as a soul in human form to bring light to others. And it does not mean that I can pick a specific star and say, that's my home. It's more of a broad term that helps people to understand that some people are here that want to bring light to others. And there are other people here that would prefer to bring shadow to others. And shadow could be defined as darkness, as evil, as demon as negativity, um, that's all of the above can fit into that broad description. But Starseed is specifically a person that wants to come down or self identifies as coming into this form, into this human form to bring light to others and to share light. And that's really been my whole life purpose from my earliest times, my earliest memories. Being born into a very dark family a family wrought with anxiety, alcoholism, physical abuse, emotional abuse. From my earliest time when I was self-soothing because I had no one else to soothe or comfort me, something within my little voice told me, it's okay, you're okay, you have worth, you are valued, we love you. And whoever that we was talking to me within my little voice inside, 
I believed it was the God source. I identified that it was the God source. Um, helped me to cope and get through those really tough times in my life. Um, so my book offers my story briefly, truncated, not all in detail, obviously, but periods of my life and periods in my world where decisions that I made as I grew and developed could have been better, but were not better because I didn't have the tools in the toolbox to help me to do that properly. I offer it to you. I am happy to speak to anybody. I look forward to getting to know you guys better on the YouTube channel um, and bringing some periodic lessons or periodic questions to the forefront and trying to answer them. I am currently owner and operator of two businesses. I own Sadie's Place, like I told you, that social adult daycare that serves our seniors in the Poughkeepsie area. Um, we are open Monday through Friday and we serve that population. Additionally, my second business is called The Source NY. It is, is a wellness sanctuary retreat center where we offer guided meditation, we offer Reiki, massage, uh, the Orisoma colors, which is the wall behind me, which will be a whole nother lesson down the road. Um, the different tools and modalities that helped me to heal, become the person that I've become so that I can help others introduce them to those modalities and those tools uh, so that their journey in this human form can be more complete. There's a lot going on in the world today. This is January 12th, 2021. There's a lot of divisiveness, there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of distrust. I get it, I get it. I have a family, I have a husband, I have uh, three sons and, and working through the different personalities and the different way the darkness and the, and the negativity and the pandemic is impacting us in our world, the way it's impacting our businesses, the way it's impacting my friends. We all are receiving attack after attack after attack of drama, of pain, of shadow, of, of fear. So the modalities that I have to help strengthen me, I offer information and insight and guidance so that they might help you if you choose that it feels right to you. Um, you know, we hear the catchphrase in the, in the modality, in the, in the alternative world, it's all about the journey, it's all about the journey. Um, that's true. I like to call it my path, my road. My road has lots of bumps in it, it has lots of twists and turns as yours does. And um, in, the, in the wellness space that we have, the Source NY, we are offering lots of different modalities to see if they work in align with you, you take a look at our website and you decide for yourself. Um, respectfully, I'm not here to, or do I intend to change anyone's minds about their background, beliefs, philosophies, what's ingrained in them. I don't have to do that. I've been a nurse, I've been in healthcare for 30 years. It's never been about me and my beliefs. It's always about helping others to own their beliefs to own what makes them feel right and help them shine their light if that's what they choose to do. Because when we, ch when we shine our lights collectively, then we're a force over darkness that's to be reckoned with. When we shine our lights, we feel good about who we are. We feel good about the good we're doing for others and we empower each other one soul at a time. And that's really how my work has been. One soul at a time, one family at a time, one new baby at a time, um, one senior at a time. And in the alternative and complementary medicine and wellness and meditation, teaching one person how to meditate right means the world to me. So if I can reach a few or reach the masses, it's whatever the God source has in mind for me um, and I'm open to it. I have to accept my journey and my path with trust that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, that I'm where I'm supposed to be, and perhaps you can consider the same.
We all have a story and I would love to hear yours at some point. So please reach out to me and I look forward to speaking to you soon. God bless.